So let's get to the rhythmic activity. Um, 16th notes in simple meter, that's the topic from chapter four in our textbook. And I'd like somebody to remind me what one of the four possible elements are with 16th notes. By the way, elements are the possible ways we can fill up a certain number of beats or an individual beat, right? All the different notes and note combinations that can fill up beats. So what's a 16th note element, for example? It's all right. Yes, okay, so first one is four sixteenths, all right? Um, then we got three more combinations. What's another one? What's that, Caroline? Two eighths, two sixteenths, or? One eighth, okay. two sixteenths, that's what you meant to say, you know that. <laughs> and then what's the reverse of that, Caroline? Two sixteenths, one eighth. There you go. All right, and then the last one, who's got it for me? Okay. Watch out for any of the following above elements plus these. Okay. Now, um, one of the things I love about being an ear training slash theory teacher is after we've done all this stuff, working from the book, identifying the elements, practicing drilling, doing sight reading, doing dictations, every now and then I do like to step outside into the real world out of our theory class and see if what we're learning had any kind of context, right, in the music that's going on currently. So, the song I want to start with is The Box by Roddy Rich. It's the number one song on Billboard currently, and it's been that way for four straight weeks. Um, it's a rap. So, um, what we're going to do is listen to Roddy Rich's rapping, and we're going to try and do a rhythmic dictation of that, okay? First step in doing any of this, though, is figuring out what the meter is. Once we figure out the meter, we'll break it down to smaller bits and then we'll try to do a dictation. But let's listen to it once and let's do, try to try to match some kind of a conducting pattern to it. Once you feel like you got the meter, let me know. the first four measures. I'll play the first four measures. I want you guys to listen, try to put everything into two measure ideas, fit this template. Okay? Try to fit into this template. So I'm writing over my old game plan. Alright, here we go. I'll play it a couple of times. <coughs> try to come up with what it is. So 
So try to think about it even before you write anything down. Do it in your head a little bit. Once you feel like you've, you, could, you could potentially perform it back, right? You figured it out, then you write it down. You write down what you already know. I'm gonna play it again as a second reference point. Here we go, same thing. One, two, three. Listening number two. Does anybody have any feelings about? Do they know anything, any details yet that we can fill in? Okay, anyone? The pickup for the first full measure is four eighteen. Oh, good. Okay. I'm at four sixteen. No, sorry. Oh, good. Yes. So we got a pickup. Good catch. I'll move the meter back. And I'll add our measure here. And you said four sixteenth notes. Yes. Else, anybody get anything yet that they know for sure? A little more? Okay, what else do you got? One is the eighth and two sixteenths. Yeah, right. So we're just dragging these elements, right? And so what's great about using elements is that you're not you're not thinking note by note by note. You're thinking in terms of beats at a time and ways to fill beats, right? So it's almost schematic that we can think, okay, four sixteenth notes, boom, put it right into that beat. Now you said what was it? Uh, the eighth and, eighth and two, sixteenths. two sixteenths. We just slide that right into place. Okay. Don't know if this is right yet. We will check against the recording in a second. How far can we go with this? Yeah. Is there a quarter note after that? I think that's correct. Okay. So you see now we've got two beats which fills up half of our measure. Let's listen a third time and let's see if we can fill in the rest of the details. So think about it. So you think it's da 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 I think I think the 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 third beat of that measure uh -huh. where you put the four sixteenths, yeah. I think it's two sixteenths and one eighth. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, because it's three syllables where that is. So that's okay. <laughs> Say it again. 
da 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 So yeah, it's the 16th for the first one. And then the 8th. The 16th goes first. Great, okay. I'm loving it. Da 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 Yeah, it's not that many syllables in that one, yeah. Is it the same? Is it the same page or two eighth notes? Can we listen to it again? Yeah, sure. And again, this is the first two measure idea, so we're actually doing a really good job figuring this out. Okay. I think we're good. And notice we're using all these 16th note things plus some elements from previously, which is really nice. Alright, again? Yeah, I think it's yeah. Out of. I think I heard busting out of. I, I don't know the lyrics to this, but. Uh, <laughs> and then one eight two two eight, yeah. Like this, and then a yeah. quarter? I don't know, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's the same. Alright, interesting. Let's keep going. <laughs> Right, you almost it, it, when it's in when it's in real music, not an exercise you do in class, right? You can actually see that there's lots of patterns going on. So it looks like it looks like Roddy Rich's rapping or his what do you call his flow is actually three beats long. <laughs> I did say that. I did say that. That makes sense because he starts on a, on he doesn't start on the meter. Right, he starts well. He starts on the upbeat, right? Yeah, interesting. So though, yeah, it is. Four, four. Right, because it's in four four, but he's using he's rapping in three note or three beat patterns against the four four meter, which is, probably adds to the excitement of it. Yeah. I think too that there's a, a half a C note. Okay. Or maybe a quarter. It's almost um, Memorize what the beat sounds like. Wait, I totally did this wrong. Wait. I gave myself more room. Because there's 
two notes there, right? He says, he says, lazy, lazy. And then? Same thing, right? So we'll do it again, same thing. Notice too that so para para pa pa para para pa pa da 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 So this is actually the same thing, right? But it's a there's a small so we call it variation. It's the same two measure idea, but there's a minor change, so it's recognized to do the same. Yes, I think the eighth note at the end is supposed to be sixteen two. Let's check it out one last time. Almost, okay. 
Uh, let's see, where do we mess up? The second one. Second line? The whole second line? No, the thick, like the second part. This one, right? The second two measure idea of that? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's try doing that as a drill. So we identify the problem spot, we'll drill the we'll drill it until we get it correct and then we'll reintegrate it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Tiki ti 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 tiki tiki ti ta ti ti ta again. Tiki ti 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 ta tiki tiki ti ta ti ti ta. Tiki ti 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 ta tiki tiki ti ta ti ti ta. Tiki ti 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 ta tiki tiki ti ta ti ti ta. Tiki ti 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 ta tiki tiki ti ta ti ti ta. There it is. Tiki ti 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 tiki tiki ti ta ti ti ta. Again. I know we're getting it. If you say, if you say ta instead of t for here, that's not a big deal. Um, all right, let's do it the whole thing one more time. One, two, three. Tiki tiki ti tiki ta. 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 Ta. Tiki tiki ti tiki ta. Tiki tiki ta. Tiki tiki ti ta. Rest. Tiki tiki ti tiki ta. Tiki tiki ti ta. Tiki tiki ta. All right, good. So the variation part is going to give us some problems because here it's it's ta tiki ti, and there it's ti tiki tiki ti. So again, the variation actually is right here. This note becomes this element. All right, these are all different ways of filling beats. And what's great is that you know Roddy Rich doesn't think like this, I'm sure, but in a way he does, right? Because he's thinking about rhythms that that go well together. All right, you ready? Let's do the whole song with. Us. <laughs> <laughs>